Taylor, who you, before the game, you said you had to weather the storm. You you knew it would, you know, they would make some shots, and I mean, they did. Uh, Kyrie, Kevin Durant, but what did you see after that third quarter stretch to close the game the way you did? Yeah, I mean, uh, credit to our guys. Uh, said it, you know, during the game. I literally said it probably many times in the first quarter to our guys. But great example of just staying the course. You know, we've been saying that throughout the season, but. New, especially tonight, you know, tip your hat, Irving, Durant were phenomenal. Um, you know, fourth quarter rolls around. We adjusted our coverages, you know, um, got to a couple different lineups out there. You know, our defensive activity really set a tone going from a 42-point quarter to a 16-point quarter, really sparked our offense. And I thought, you know, just on top of that, for the majority of the game, just great ball movement. It was hard to get going in that third quarter because, I mean, they were just dropping shot after dropping after, after shot. Um, but the assist in the first half, the assist in the fourth quarter especially, uh, but just staying the course was the biggest thing. You're going to need that. You know, uh, especially when we had a nice lead and then we lost that. Luckily, the crowd was behind us. Our guys didn't waver, and we've shown that all season long. But especially against a really good Brooklyn Nets team, uh, when Irving and Durant were going off, uh, you know, just great job and great poise. What's the feeling like knowing that this was a special day for the franchise? That you know, a lot of the attention was on you guys, and then to be able to deliver the win as the finale. Yeah, I mean, just uh, I said it on the front end um, the other day. I mean, it's a humbling honor, obviously, having ESPN here to do all that access, um, you know, to you know showcase what the Grizzlies are all about. Obviously, a lot of people see us on TV, but now they get to see a little bit behind closed doors what we're about, you know, the spirit, the energy, the togetherness that we have, um, you know, and then to come out there and, and display that same thing, to play with that energy and that um, that discipline at the same time um, was, was great. So a nice cap to the last two days. And, uh, you know, luckily we'll turn a corner and we got another one tomorrow night that we get ready for, but really proud of our guys, the work they put in yesterday, uh, the effort tonight, and, um, you know, just a great experience overall. Uh, Coach, just in, in this game, Melton just provided a big spark off the bench with his three-point shooting, and it just seems like over time he's turned that three-point shot into, like, a catch-and-shoot in just one motion for a really quick release. So just what do you attribute his, um, his confidence to? Um, to the three-point shot, too. Yeah, I mean, Mel was huge, obviously, in that first quarter. Um, you know, he had a big one in the fourth quarter, I remember. I can't remember. I think it was Dez coming off a side pick and then swinging to him on the wing. Um, but, you know, we saw this uh, first year. We were all together. Just he's got really sound mechanics. Uh, but then on top of that, he just he works. You know, like he just stays uh, the course in terms of just being repetitive in his shot. Uh, the work that he does, you know, Scooney Penn works with him a lot. They're just consistent in just being really good and catch and shoot, moving off the ball, um, you know, shooting off the dribble some too. You know, in transition, he gets those opportunities as well. But the work ethic that he's been putting in uh, really pays off. And when he can play like that, it's a huge spark for us. T Taylor, I'm curious, how do you explain to people why this team has been so good when your best player hasn't been playing this season? Togetherness. I mean, uh, that's probably the biggest thing. You know, I'm a broken record when it comes to talk about our spirit and our swag. You see that, um, but I think our guys understand the the special people that they get to compete with every single day. Um, they enjoy coming to work every single day, um, which is a credit to our players and to our staff. Um, and you know, when anyone's out of the rotation, you know, and, and we've seen it with Jai, the rotation guys. Just you know, it's not necessarily a matter of stepping up. It's just hey, be our best selves, be our best Grizzlies basketball uh, team, no matter who's in the rotation. So that's the togetherness. Um, uh, I see it every single day, not even on the floor. It's off the floor as well. Um, hopefully that carries us for the long run, not just the season, but many years moving forward. In the first half, you had DeAnthony to get off to a very hot start. I don't know well, I don't know what you said to him, but I've never seen him that aggressive <laughs> early. And then in the third, fourth quarter, uh, Desmond just did the same thing. It was like a short period in bound. What you said to them, or they just pop, popped off like a firecracker? Uh, Luckily, I mean, I only probably have to talk to him one time at the beginning of the year about how we want to be super aggressive. We want to play together. When you're open, let it fly. Um, you know, I want to give pretty much all of our guys the ultimate green light. You know, take good shots. You know, we educate them on that. Uh, but, you know, I always hit them. I say, just keep trusting the work that you guys put in. When the moments come, I want you to have the utmost confidence and faith that you're going to knock it down, and we want you to shoot it. So, um, great example, melt early in the game. And then, as you said, Des, you know, late in the game with big-time shots. Um, but these guys don't have to hear it from me all the time. They know I want them to be be aggressive. Thoughts on uh, Brandon and Jaren's defense in the fourth quarter? I think he went with them the whole fourth quarter, and they were fabulous. What was your, your... Yeah, I mean that's you know one of our one of our best uh, big combinations, and we didn't know what they were going to do uh, lineup wise. I mean Drummond, his physicality, you know the way he was rolling, and you know the threat that he is on the boards, you know kind of matching Steven with him. But start of the fourth quarter, which we normally start our force with, uh, you know BC and JJ, those guys, uh, you just see the activity they play with. We started switching, you know actions more, pick and rolls, you know putting bigs on to Durant or. Uh, 
Irving, great one-on-one defense. And then when they were getting inside to the paint, we were just swarming them and, you know, block shots or rebounds. And then when those guys just play with great guard play, the way that they run the floor, BC, the threat, you know, in the paint uh, and at the rim. And then JJ, um, you know, from the three-point line, you know, it's just great balance. But it, they really set the tone with their defense because they're very versatile. As I said, you know, they were able to switch on to two of the most elite, you know, playmakers in the league and, and really hold it down. Says it looked like on the national television interview afterwards said we're here <laughs> to you what does that mean I think that's just our own internal confidence. You know, luckily, I know those guys, you know, are never satisfied. I know we have a lot more work to do, but um, we're here because, you know, we put in the work. Um, you know, we, we just carry ourselves with just a lot of confidence in who we are. And, you know, we feel confident if we play to the best of our abilities, we can beat anybody in the league. Uh, but we're never satisfied. We're never going to let that get to our head. Um, that's that's a, uh, a respectful, you know, swagger when I look at that. So, uh, but then you also see it's all of his teammates with him, too. And that's what we're really all about is, is the depth of this team and the togetherness of this team. You start games with Steven Adams and you finish a lot of games with, with Brandon Clark. Just with those two guys, what are the differences you get with them? I mean, those guys bring so many different uh, positives to the floor. Um, you know, Steven with his level of physicality, the screen setting, obviously the rebounding, his paint presence on both ends. Uh, BC, just a little bit different burst out there, uh, but really good in the pick and roll game, you know, as a screen setter running the floor. Uh, but those both those guys, I think, set a tone defensively. You know, you see a lot of versatility in what uh, BC can do, uh, the mobility that Steven shows, you know, and, you know, being a presence around the rim, being a presence in a, a million pick and rolls a game uh, just gives us a lot of versatility to go a lot of different directions. Teams play big, small. Uh, I've got confidence in both those guys to match up, you know, with anybody. Hey, Coach, uh, get out, out of your tunnel vision a little bit. You don't get 50 wins every year with this franchise, man. Reflect on what it means for this franchise. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously uh, it's great, you know, for the history of the organization. I'm just really proud of everyone involved, you know, our players, our coaches, entire staff, front office. But, you know, we're never satisfied. we got more work to do. we got nine more regular season games. Hopefully we have a, a, a long run beyond that as well. Um, but definitely special. But, you know, we got another game tomorrow that we got to get prepared for and, and hopefully continue to find our best basketball. Yep. Coach, this has nothing to do with the game tonight. Uh, rumor has it you were at the Incubus concert <laughs> on Monday night. Fact. We're right around the same yeah. favorite Incubus song. Uh, pardon me. Pardon me. It's probably my favorite. Drive, when they finished the concert with Drive, that was pretty sweet. The acoustic guitar. So, yeah, definitely uh, when I saw it on the billboards, I said, you know what? Uh, you know, i got to get out. It's been a while since I've seen a concert in Memphis. Obviously, I'm not going to do that the night before game. So, we had it, you know, two nights before the game. But it was fun just, you know, when you get more opportunities to see this great community out and about. Obviously, we see them supporting the Grizzlies every night. But seeing them at Graceland supporting Incubus. And I know there's more concerts I can't wait to go to. And obviously, all the festivals coming up this summer. So, what a, what a great thing to be a part of. And, yes, uh, I was definitely there. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, everybody.